it's finally match day. Knotts versus Southend. We've had a week's break. I think we've used it quite well from what uh, Knotts have put on Twitter. We've uh, gone to Ludbury University and doing some work there. But quite interesting, Ruben getting in the ring with a, with a boxer. Didn't look out of place though, so fair play to him. Um, yeah, Southend, maybe not the best time to play them. They're in a decent little bit of form. They're about four points from last possible six. Um, so looking forward to it. It's going to be a good game. They're bringing over a thousand fans, which is great for the National League. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Um, yeah, I'm up a little bit later than I normally would be because it was my Christmas staff do last night and I was out to the early hours of the morning. But I did bump into Doron Tor, who is the Knott's Forest YouTuber. Um, so I had a good chat with him and yeah, we're sort of talking about stuff for five or ten minutes. And then when we left, we said to each other, you know, I hope you lose tomorrow. So uh, great bloke. But yeah, I'm looking forward to today's game. I'm going to head out and get coffee now, wake me up a little bit. Um, see out the day until I have to go and pick Tom and Jordan up. Good afternoon, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hey, alright. Can I have a skinny caramel latte, please? A skinny caramel latte? Is that a sugar-free caramel? Yes, please. Yeah. Do you want it large? Um, no, can I have a medium, please? No problem. Any other food or drinks? No, that's it, thank you. Better drive down to the next window for me then, please. Thank you. Someone just pull in the bear, bring out what's ready. Thank you. Just got my coffee. Um, I am going to go for a little walk before the game, um, try and waste a little bit of time because I'm really looking forward to today's game, uh, Kickoff can't come soon enough. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm feeling fairly confident, you know, because I feel like we've got a favoured 11 now. Um, we've got a, an 11 that I feel like everyone agrees is our best start in 11. I'm not going to go through it because I think most Knots fans know who that is. Um, so there is a confidence there in that start in 11 and I feel like with the fans that are going to be there today. I think there's going to be at least 6,000 6, in attendance today. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a great atmosphere. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to head off on my walk. I will catch up with you guys when I pick Tom and Jordan up. Yeah. Just picked up Jordan. How are you feeling, Jordan? Positive, I think. Um, looking forward to the game. Hopefully put on a good display against the south end side that are struggling somewhat. Um, see some nice play and... Hopefully, a lot of goals. Yeah, I, I sort of said in, in, a, in a clip earlier on, I start on 11th. I feel like it's pretty firm now, isn't it? There's a, there's a, there's a main 11 now, isn't there? That everyone yeah, sort of agrees on. I think it's only just started to come into play as well. I think at the start of the season, the first like five to ten games, Birchner was still playing around a bit. Yeah. But he seems to have got it more settled. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, should be interesting. We'll go grab Tom now. George just picked me up. Um, pretty much just the team has just come out. I know George has already discussed that, but my take on that is Richardson comes straight in. Uh, the way he spoke on, um, I think it was Thursday night, maybe maybe yesterday, spoke about the team, the quality of the team. He likened it to what he's seen in League Two. Obviously, he's been at Forest Green before. He's played a lot of games in the Football League for someone so young. So I think he'll slot straight in. Uh, slightly disappointed to see Parsons go out because I thought he was actually really good when he played against, uh, I think it was Dagnum and Redbridge a few weeks ago. He's not a natural wing back though, so maybe they're looking at having him as a replacement for Lamine. Um, coming off the bench, you know, that's a very good option when you've got players like Carl Robertson, Ruben Rodriguez starting. So it should be an interesting one. Uh, around 800 South End fans coming to Medellin today, so I think it'll be a good atmosphere as well. Really poor for Knox, didn't clear the lines, and it's a finish into the, the near corner. 
I don't know if Slocum could have done better. I think really it's on the defence that one. So not so a lot to do, but there's still 80 minutes of football to go. 22 minutes gone in the game. Lost looking a little bit lethargic in possession, a bit slow with it, being a bit clumsy as well. Brindley's passed it over to Lacey and he's, he's sort of come off him for a, a south end corner. Yeah, not looking too great so far. I'm, I'm hoping we pick up a little bit, but um, I'm hoping we go in it maybe at half time and virtual breaks a bit of smoke off them and come out firing in the second half. Really good finish, great tackle uh, down near the bar line, crossed it in, he took a touch like he'd done too much and then rifled it in. Um, it's quite in the South End fans who have been pretty good, pretty loud so far. 1-1 and uh, hopefully we can cut that. Half time then, it's 1-1. A little bit lethargic on the ball, possession-wise. Just don't, don't really look like we're that up for it. Maybe the, the break we're not having a game for a week is, is showing, but it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit patchy, isn't it? Yeah, I think they will tire because they're, they're doing a lot of pressing, a lot of running around, making it difficult. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they will tire, but it's if they get a goal before they tire, yeah. so, you know, then they could sit in. Yeah. First I half, I'll, I'll probably give that a six and a half out of ten. We did start to create later on, and again we've missed big chances from headers. Um, Kyle Cameron a good one uh, from a corner, and then also Kyle Wharton as well. So we've got to be ruthless because results arise at half time are. They're not really going our way. Most of the team, no team brothers are losing. Yeah, much. I think you've got to give a bit of credit to South End as well. I think you know they scored and they didn't sit off. They were trying to get another one, weren't they? Yeah, you don't see that here. You, you don't. Two, not two very often. Final and thing is, sorry, rest lost the game. Yeah, it's a clear penalty on what the last like last second of the half. He's literally climbed on. Anywhere else on the pitch, it's um, it's, it's a free kick. So yeah, I would say cr credit to the South End fans as well. They've been class, aren't they? Very loud. Um, but our goal did silence them a little bit. We've come out really well second half. Richardson's just had a chance, should probably should have scored. Um, I've got Jordan next to me. He's getting too too excited with this, shouting for everything. But the rest lost the game, like we said, so you can hear now, it's just poor. Just ticked over the hour mark. Uh, the rest completely lost the game, like Tom said. Um, the challenges flying in on Knox players are all over. Cameron's just took one, now Vincent's just took one and he's finally blow up. Um, we've got a little bit of the momentum in the game, hopefully we can carry it on and nick the goal. Unsung hero, he's, he's been fantastic, great goal, it, it's becoming a bit of a battery now, we've got the momentum of the game. About to go over to 80 minutes, um, the South End goalkeeper who have been time wasting all game has now gone off injured, they've uh, done what Knox did against Dagon a few years ago and have now got an outfield player in goal so you've got to think, just take, take your chance and have an effort. That South End actually threw here, good, good defending from Knox, yeah just take, take your chances. minute now then six minutes added on knots have just gone 4-1 up um, they've got an outfield player in goal as Tom just said it's, it's we're breezing them now this second half has been a complete contrast to the first half um, six minutes added on I fancy just to get another one to be honest South end have the ball in the net knots uh, claiming offside the ref and I didn't give it 
and Post has literally said to him, it's offside, and he's given it. So the lineman's completely bottled it, not on the attack, decent cross, and away, and looking at full time any second, 4 1 knots. <laughs> doing all our videos ended up being a good day it didn't start too well the game didn't but you know all in all it's a fantastic result in the second half great performance uh, it's building blocks and i really hope we can push it through now for the next two games i really really want to beat chesterfield don't you yeah and it's, it's an important win because uh, like i've already said in the other videos everyone around us has, has won today everyone around us the good thing is teams below didn't so we're starting to build uh, a bit of a gap between them now and it's just who can who can stay on personally I don't expect Bournemouth to stay on for the whole season. I don't expect Bromley to stay on for the whole season, but you never know. We've seen teams like Bo uh, Barrow do it and Sutton, so you never know what to expect from this league. Just got in then, just managed to warm up a little bit. I'm sat in my armchair, which I'm sure some of our regular viewers will know from the Papers Perspective podcast. Yeah, good day, great result. Um, we grew into the game, which I think was to be expected with the break we'd had, uh, but it's good to show that we can do that after having that break and you know, get a good result, get some, some goals in as well, get the goal difference up, which always helps. Uh, it's tight, you know, it's really tight at the top. We're four points off the top. We're making the gap bigger between us and the teams below us. So it, it's all positive. I mean, the only negative really today is Ruben picks up his yellow. So we will be missing Chesterfield, which obviously will be a big miss. It will be, but I feel like we've got the depth to, to you know, still put it on Chesterfield. We're not going to be able to replace Ruben. But we've got quality in that squad, nothing but quality. So we're feeling really positive. Um, really enjoyed doing this vlog again today. Um, we've actually got quite a good track record with doing vlogs in the league. I don't think we've actually lost the game. I think we've actually won every game we've vlogged. Uh, so we might have to do a vlog for the rest of the season for every game we go to and hope that uh, it carries on that way. Uh, but if you've enjoyed the video, guys, let us know in the comments um, if you'd like us to do more. Um, let me know. Let us know what you thought of the game. We really enjoyed it in the end. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.